I am sick and tired of not liking coffee. Every November 2nd, Starbucks releases their famous Christmas coffees in their cute little Christmas cups. It's so cool, and it really has become like a huge part of the holiday culture. Everybody on TikTok is so excited for these coffees. Everybody rushes to the stores, and they... Ooh, tastes like Christmas in a cup. It's a huge moment, and I'm, I'm, I'm not a part of it. Oh. I think coffee tastes like gloves. Well, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna be forcing myself to drink a cup of coffee every single day for the next 30 days until I like it. <sniffs> ah. And do you know what day it'll be on day 30? November 2nd, the day that Starbucks releases their Christmas coffees. I'm gonna be there with everybody else in America. I'm gonna get one of those coffees and like it. I'm gonna belong. I hope at least. So I woke up and began my journey at Starbies, home of the buck. I don't know, is that what people say? Oh gosh, look at that warmth! How do people do this to themselves? I'm so afraid it's gonna burn me. Oh, what the actual crap. But if I wanted to be there on November 2nd with everybody else drinking the holiday drinks, I had to get used to this taste. So I'd be drinking every drop of all these coffees for the next 30 days. Good morning. I'm not exaggerating, I'm sorry. To me, it tastes like a, like a burnt rubber tire. It's, I'm embarrassed, I really, no. I'm Daniel! Ho, ho, ho! How you doing, buddy? Santa? What's wrong, not a fan of the holiday season? What, what, what? You're not gonna be at Starbucks on November 2nd welcoming in me? No, I, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there, I'm, I'm gonna drink a, a Christmas coffee mm. and welcome in the season. Coffee hater. Santa, bro, that's a, that's a little extreme. Bye. Yeah, that, that's how I feel. The next day, I tested a scientific theory on how to like coffee. It's all about those serotonin levels, you know? If my brain senses that I'm happy and laughing and having fun, maybe it'll make this taste better. <laughs> Still disgusting. I am here with a coffee expert, my friend Melvin. Hello, Melvin. How are you? Hello, Daniel. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Hello, Daniel. Thanks for having me in today. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. You know what? Let's just close this. <laughs> Coffee's horrible, but you like coffee, right? Yeah. I get down with a hot bean juice. <laughs> It's bean mainly, juice. <laughs> I mainly drink it for the caffeine. So you don't like how it tastes? Ah, well, it's okay. You know, you do you do learn to love it. Just it's an acquired taste. So, <laughs> so I, I I took Melvin's advice and I just kept going at it. Could I just do like a normal black coffee? Look, look at this cup. I don't even know if I can show this. Oh my gosh. Dang it. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. There was even a day where I said, what if I take my favorite drink, Dr. Pepper, and slowly add coffee to it throughout the day? Maybe I'd get used to it. But that was a bad idea. There's hope for this one. Nutella? Ooh, man, look at everybody working. It's pretty inspiring. It's like, what a cool thing. In life, there's coffee shops. They drink coffee and get work done. You know, what a vibe. I, I want to be part of that. I took a sip of this one and, well... <laughs> I started wondering if this experiment was ever gonna work. You know, it's not really about the coffee for me, it's about the experiences. But you can't have the experiences if you don't like coffee. And I thought, you know what? It's time to visit my other coffee-loving friend. Today we're not traveling anywhere for coffee. Oh, too early. <laughs> there she blows! Hello, governor! Hello, governor! <laughs> You wanna get into coffee, eh? Yeah, and I've had a bunch of coffee so far and I don't really like any of them. Obviously you don't like the coffee because you've never had a Regina coffee. Close your eyes. <laughs> That's my boyfriend, Nathan Fielder. So you wanna get into coffee, eh? Cause you know, November 2nd is fastly approaching and then like, it's time! <laughs> Don't you get excited every Christmas time for this I, moment? I do love chestnut praline, that warm, cozy feeling. I notice Sixth. when you get like sentimental about stuff, you get nasally. That Christmas feeling. You ever notice that? <laughs> I'm gonna make you a uh, sweet. I'm gonna make you a Regina latte with love. <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> It smells so good. I right? wish coffee tasted like it smells. And you haven't had it with love yet. You haven't had it with love. You'll see. 
<laughs> See, coffee is, it's a whole art, it's a whole lifestyle. And I'm just not a part of it. That is kind of sad. Coffee is one of the many joys of my life. Get it, get it. <laughs> this is where the love comes in. I'm gonna make some latte art. I've been practicing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be so sad. <gasps> it's a heart! Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you guys see the heart? Not bad! With love! Yeah. Thank you! It smells really good. I know you like a sweet sweets. <laughs> wow, thank you, little the Bo Regina Peeps. Regina special. Ow, ow, hold it! I can't, I can't. Thank you, Regina. Yes, cheers. It's not bad. Very interesting. It's unlike anything I've ever had throughout this journey. You took something that I hate and made it actually somewhat enjoyable. So that, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You're the best. All right, well, I'm gonna chug this and- uh... no, Don't chug it! <laughs> <laughs> Regina gave me some big momentum, so I had to keep it going. Okay, so here I am at Dunkin' Donuts. It's an East Coast thing. So maybe if I channel my uh, my inner East Coast, uh, you know, I talk like this, how you doing? How you... Hello, welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Hey, how you doing? Yes. <laughs> well, since I'm a typical New Yorker, you gotta represent a New York hat. All right, I'm not gonna make a face. Ready? Delicious. <sighs> oh my gosh, I... Next day, I tried Dunkin' again. I got another black coffee. I burned myself. Ew. Oh my gosh. That tastes like a Frank right there. Like a, like a, I'm talking like a, like a hot dog. <laughs> Will I ever like coffee? Oh, everybody likes it, but me, but me, but me. I wanna put up the tree with the Starbucks coffee, but the taste of coffee makes me sing off key. Just grabbed a buck from Starbucks. Love a good buck. Well, this is an ik chai It was at this moment where it seemed like the experiment was about to take a turn. Oh my god! That is incredible! That is so good! Like, I don't taste the coffee at all. <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm making, I'm making progress! Embarrassed. But then, I took a closer look at the name of the drink. This is a tea, this isn't a coffee. We have breaking news. A man named Daniel Ferry is drinking coffee every day for 30 days. Does he know the risks? As a matter of fact, we have him right here on the line. Daniel, hello, good to see you. Yeah, it's true, Dane. You know, I'm traveling all across Las Vegas. Uh, beautiful city you have, and I'm trying all the coffees. Uh, I hate them all, but I'm hoping that that'll change. We got a couple guys in our newsroom. They say if you don't like coffee, you're a baby. What do you have to say to that? I'm a baby. Hey, listen. November 2nd, Starbucks comes out. You know those like classic Christmas drinks? Those I just classic Christmas drinks are overpriced and full of sugar. Are you sponsored by, uh, say, Starbucks? No, no, I'm not sponsored. It's just, it's genuinely just what I want. Okay, yes. Okay, well then how are they paying you then if it's not money? Whoa, what are you, what are you insisting there, buddy? I'm gonna put you on the news. Uh, sir, we're gonna put you on the news first. No, I'm gonna put you. Right, no, we're actually. You know, no, I'm gonna put you on the news. Tell me what they're doing. You know what? I'm recording this. Tell us. You know what? I'm tell us how there. you. Tell us that guy right there. You're lame and you should try, try it. No, hey, bro, just give me that phone. <laughs> We're approaching day 30 when Starbucks releases the Christmas drinks and I, I still don't like coffee and um, you know, I woke up early today. I figured, you know, maybe today's the day where things will change, but I just, you know, I, I tried to wear some goofy Waldo looking shirt to cheer me up, but I feel like this Christmas, I won't be part of the holiday culture. This is the look of a man who realized maybe his dreams won't come true after all. But the McDonald's I chose to go to next, something weird was going on there. I changed the journey forever. Oh my gosh, I'm in front of myself. That's like a vibe right there. Nicely dressed, just chilling outside McDonald's eating a cone. Good morning to you. I didn't realize that the words that I was about to say 
We're about to change my journey forever. Can I do a hazelnut iced coffee? Thank you. Uh, the morning sun blinds my eyes. All right, McDonald's iced hazelnut coffee. Yeah. I would say this is more good than bad. Mickey D's, what have you done? It was then I discovered how I would train myself to like the taste of coffee. What would I get started for you? Hey, could I get an iced hazelnut coffee? Hi, welcome to the Hi, can I do an iced hazelnut coffee? Okay, what can I get for you? Can I get an iced hazelnut coffee? An iced hazelnut coffee, please. Sorry, there's just there's a lot of people looking at me. There's an intruder in my room. What? what you, bro, you invited me here to edit. Yo, sneaking in people's windows is not cool. <laughs> you told me I could. Daniela is one of the biggest coffee lovers I know. Really? Are you? What's that word that you said about coffee? Oh, it's not so much about the coffee, it's about the experience. It's not a word. Yeah, like I, I don't, a word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're trying something new, you know. I'm up till like 5 a.m. every night editing, pretty late. Maybe I won't be up as late. Because you're having a coffee. Yeah, and I'll be like. Super <laughs> help. It's super helpful when you're trying to stay up late. Do you think it tastes good though? Not without cream and sugar. You got me this? Like what were you thinking? <laughs> I usually you're gonna pick us up coffees and you got me a freaking nitro cold brew. What the heck is that? <laughs> Nasty. Even coffee lovers, some hate black coffee. Are you a true coffee lover if you can't have it? Plain. I don't know. My whole life has been a lie. I'm gonna have an existential crisis. No, I'm already having one. Only one of us can have an existential crisis. Oh, it's okay, fine. I'll postpone mine until like later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, stop being a weenie and chug your coffee because we got editing to do. All right, all right. November 2nd was only a few days away and I still wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to be included in the holiday festivities. I'd say this is a good place to get started into coffee. You're just starting out on coffee. Mind your heart. Is it bad for my heart? Anything in, anything. I'm not trying to kiss you, it's just. Oh, any, anything, always in moderation. Say. <laughs> oh my gosh, this actually looks amazing. Some people don't even call this coffee anymore. But there's coffee in it, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Let's see how it tastes. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> Eventually, you'll get used to this taste and whatnot, and you'll start to seek stronger, bolder flavors. Every, every since you started using this in your videos, I've always wanted to put it in my, because you do that too, you're just like, oh my. Feel free to put it in your mouth, they do it. Ow. All right, thank you, Melvin. Mmm, so good. Don't overdo it, okay? Okay, I won't, I won't. Good boy. See ya. Bye. I actually don't like this, but I didn't have the heart to tell him. <laughs> Melvin, I love you. Here's the thing, like a lot of these coffees, I mean, I'm not gagging anymore, but this doesn't make me excited. Christmas, I'm supposed to be happy. I'm supposed to be so excited each year when Starbucks releases their coffee drinks, right? This doesn't make me happy. It makes me sad. Oh my gosh, the grass is all wet. Uh, please tell me there's nothing there. It is Christmas Eve, Starbucks drink edition. Can't wait to celebrate with everybody, drinking some beautiful coffees. To be determined if I actually like coffee. Gonna get me in the Christmas spirit. We're not sure yet. Hi there, thank you for choosing our Starbucks. We're gonna get started for ya. Hi, uh, do the Christmas drinks come out tomorrow? Yes, they do. Nice, okay. They're already setting up on the inside. You can see the Christmas stuff. Oh my God, it's happening, guys. I'm not sure what's gonna happen tomorrow. I don't know if this whole journey is gonna be for nothing, and I don't know. This video might have a sad ending. My dream of making this like a Christmas tradition and like being part of like the culture of coffee, like yeah, it might not work. I don't know. All I can say is, jump in bed, cover up your head, cause Santa Claus comes tomorrow at Starbucks. Finally, after 30 days of trying to like coffee, it was time for the moment of truth. All right, guys. A 30 day journey, all because of this day, this moment.
Will this become a new Christmas tradition for me? Will I join millions of Americans in looking forward to this day? This could either have a happy ending or a very depressing one. All right, here we go. I stepped inside and said my my. Everything was beautiful. All that was left was the coffee. Hi. Hey guys. that sugar cookie almond milk latte? Yeah, that That's was pretty good. I just picked a random coffee from the menu and thought, all right, this is it. Oh my gosh, guys. A dream come true. Ow, ow. It's hot. It's hot. They're playing Christmas music. The whole store. Ow, it's hot. The whole store is decorated. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's snowing in here. But it's just dirty. This is amazing. I want to do this every year. Ow, that's really freaking hot. I would love every year to come into this atmosphere and really jumpstart the holiday season. But if I don't like this, it's all for nothing. I guess, let's see. It was time. Did 30 days of training my taste buds to like coffee actually work? Please, 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 please. Only one way to find out. I gave my body a second to process what it just had, when suddenly... It was the most vile thing I ever put in my mouth. I looked up and saw everybody else enjoying their holiday coffees. And when I looked to my right, of course, two of my best friends were here too. As tradition, bringing in another holiday season together. I couldn't believe it. I love the holidays so much, but I guess this aspect of it, I just never was gonna be a part of. Can I just do a water? Yeah, of course. I decided I should just stick with what I know best, water. Suddenly I noticed Daniela looking over at me and, and then Regina looked over at me and next thing you know, they invited me to their table. Hi guys. What are you doing here? Yeah, I was, I was trying to like coffee for this special day, but I got this thing and it tastes like toenails. What? How do you know what that tastes like? I'm just like looking around at you guys and everybody else here and I'm just like, wow, everybody's drinking coffee and, and celebrating the new Christmas season. I just wanted that so bad, but it tastes like who says you have to like coffee just to enjoy the holiday season? You don't have to like coffee. And they also have like snowman cookies and gingerbread cake pops. Oh. They got hot chocolate and cider. Yeah, that's so cozy. They have a gingerbread drink that doesn't have coffee in it. What? Those just came out today? They're on the menu. <laughs> Wait a minute, they have more holiday stuff than just coffee? Check it. Look. Yeah, look, this is this is a tea. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so Christmassy. Look. No! I knew you were gonna do that. So I never did end up liking coffee, but turns out, who cares? It's just a cookie. It's That's Christmas it. cookie. <laughs> you know, everybody's got their preferences and you should embrace them. It's what makes you you. <laughs> I mean, coffee stains your teeth, it makes your heart beat really fast, and it made me poop like seven times a day, so I'm glad that's over.